<laughs> You're very welcome back now. Kieran Bracken made his first international rugby appearance for England at the age of 21 and went on to win a total of 51 caps, which led him to being awarded an MBE by the Queen. More recently, his stint on Dancing and Ice won him an army of fans in both Ireland and the UK, where he was crowned champion of champions of the series as well, by the way, and subsequently, no, he was champion and then he won champion of champions uh, at the end uh, of the series. He joins us this morning to, uh, to tell us about his new Dancing on Ice tour, where he'll be judging rather than participating, and also he's going to talk about living his life in the glare of the public eye. Good morning, sir. You're very well. Good morning. morning. How are you both? Nice to meet you. Uh, yeah. Can I ask you a question? We can talk about the rugby for a little bit, first yeah. of all. Um, you were born in Scaries. I was born in Georgia, yeah. In Georgia, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, are your parents both Irish, yeah? I know, I know. I get a lot of stick. Well, right. Listen, I get a lot of <laughs> stick exactly every time. Even going. last night I was in, in Dublin and they're saying, you're that fella, you should have played for Ireland. But I moved to London or, or Liverpool when I was, I don't know, two. Yeah. I, I didn't know where I was or what was going on and all my colleagues and everyone were English and sort of my allegiance was to you know to the people who, who I grew up with so it's kind of weird to say no you should go back to the place you were born so you didn't for. grow up in a sort of an, a, an no. Irish English household uh, no it was very much you weren't a plastic paddy then uh, not quite no but my, I mean my parents would take us back all the time to scaries yeah. and see the see the family but you can imagine when I put the England shirt on for the first time mm. against Ireland I could hear them in the changing room next to me let's where, where kill are that little from? Are they from Load. No, they're, they're, they're from Scaries. They they're grew up scaries. in Scaries, yeah. No, that, that part of the world would be particularly nationalist. So Yeah, <laughs> maybe, maybe. But look, I made a choice from an early yeah. age. Mm -hmm. Did you get stick over it? Oh, incredible. When I was playing Ireland England at Lansdowne Road, I used to he hear this sort of booing every now and again. And at half time, I said, what's all that booing? And they said, they're booing you, because <laughs> obviously you were born in Ireland. So, uh, but look, I mean... And how do you take that? Do you... Well, I mean, you know, it's funny, because all my family would come and watch, the, the, my relatives would come and watch me supporting Ireland, but they'd be sort of supporting me as well when I played sure. for England. But uh, it was t it's to be expected to get that stick. But, you know, if, it would have felt weird to suddenly go back to Ireland and play for Ireland, because that's where I was born, mm -hmm. you know, all my, my life, I suppose. Hey, it works for a lot of our soccer players. Oh, absolutely, yeah. <laughs> and at the other side, is he can always look at his World Cup medal and go, well, do you know what? Hey, <laughs> I, maybe I made the right choice. Yeah. Um, speaking of which, uh, uh, we've had a lot in, in the press lately about high-profile sportsmen, professional sportsmen, yes, yes. and the difficulty in making the transition from that mm -hmm. to Civvy Street. How was that for you? Well, do you know, I was really fortunate because when you go out and you play rugby in front of tens of thousands, 80,000 people, is a massive buzz and then suddenly when you retire you know people try to find jobs do different things I know Shane Byrne now is coming in here he works mm -hmm. and you know you're trying to find your way in life and I was really lucky because that buzz was replaced by dancing on ice suddenly I was in skate I was going out in front of when we do the tour tens of thousands of people it was amazing so the buzz was kind of replaced for me and I found another sport and I know it doesn't seem like a sport to you you think it's sort of like a performance and it's all the glitter and glitter. it's not it's actually a sport it's a tough sport and it's a great sport so I found something that I really loved and that buzz was replaced so I've never really had that downhill spiral where I sort of mm. wonder what I'm going to do of course it's a sport it wouldn't be in the Olympics otherwise no absolutely no absolutely. And there's huge skill involved in it but yes. I can imagine from a rugby playing macho point of view yes. was there a bit stick to be taken from yeah, the lads? I'll just, do you know what, can you imagine, because um, the first thing they said, would you like a spray tan? And I was a little bit like, really? And I didn't have one on the first week. And then you think I am, Gavin Henson? Uh, yeah, no, exactly, it's a bit orange. But then, but, then, but then the week later, I said, I'll try this spray tan thing. And, and I could see myself on TV and it was like, wow, I, I, I look more healthy now. And I also noticed with my hair sort of balding spots and I thought, I th and, and, and the, the like, this is how I got in, sorry? That's that me, you? yeah, 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 that's mm -hmm. me with the family and the kids. Oh, wow. and, and so, so, so with the hair, I, I sort of noticed, noticed in, I mean, you're, you're quite lucky, I mean, to have a full head of hair. At my age. But your age, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't, I, I didn't want to qualify it, but then, but then um, the, 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 the stylist at back said, look, I've got this, this Viviscal thing, you can try this, and I tried it, and it covered all the spot, all, you know, my, concealed my ball, and I thought, wow, this is fantastic. So I went online, Viviscal, I 20 boxes, and when it comes, my wife was a bit like, what's all this? You don't need to know about that, you don't need to know about that. But from my point of view, it was, um, oh, there it is. You see, I haven't got that now because I've, I've got the, the stuff on. Yeah, but you had a, you, did, did you have a transplant as well? I had the transplant as well, but the thing is, it's quite temporary. I mean, it doesn't last forever. You, do, you know, oh, you don't, really? no, it, it, will, it will sort of be... It's kind of short it, to medium it's term. It's short to medium term. And you can use other things like hair fibres to sort of cover it up. Now, you know, it makes me sound a bit vain, but... 
if you're losing your hair, quite luckily if? you're not. Not God, quite. it's in the rear view mirror. No, no, no. no. <laughs> well, the camera's in front of you all the time. Here. Here. This is not so bad. No, 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 we're going to shop. We're going to shop. He's a good sport about this. Listen, oh, we'll, we'll send you some online. We can send you some, I'm sure, say, some free stuff. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm sure they've got some grey fibres as well, do you know what I mean? But look, I mean, it's about feeling feeling good about but yourself. something, right? Yeah. Yeah. On, on a serious note, right? I mean, look yeah. at you. You're a fine figure of a man. Handsome. Oh, young. Very kind. Why don't you just shave it? Well, I, I don't think I've got the, the, the type of shape head to, some people really suit it i mean have you seen keith wood with a shaved head you know <laughs> it's like sort of not so not you know, so, you know if you look like uh, sorry that's a bit like uncle keith's a bit like uncle fester yes and you but it does it but it, it's become part of his character now it, you know I, I i know well yes but i did i i was known when i started playing rugby for having the curly locks and the you know the, the young sort of curly locks and like and i didn't really want to lose that i really didn't want to lose that and you don't have to lose that people will be but very surprised that somebody who has achieved as much as mm, you yeah. in this in, in you know and I mean, by the way, you're also a qualified lawyer and all that sort of stuff, right? Yeah. So academically very bright. Yeah. A, a sporting hero, World Cup medal winner. Yeah. They would be really surprised that you would have a chink of armour like that. What you know, that, 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 that kind of insecurity about yourself. Well, well I, I think, uh, you know, I think we're all the same. We're all the same. And in the rugby environment, I mean, it's just like, you know, playground stuff. The guys will go for the weakest link. If you're fat, you're short, you're, if you're losing your hair, you've yeah, got big nose. They like go straight for it. And so, you know, I remember Shane Byrne, that's one of the first things he said to me. He says, you know, would you like to borrow any of this? <laughs> you know? um, and, and so, you know, you, especially when you see yourself on TV and you're doing dancing and ice yeah. and that That's sort what of I was thing. just about to say, Kieran. Do you think when you're you're playing rugby you're busy playing you rugby whereas when you yeah. moved into dancing on ice as skillful yes. and as artistic as it is you become much more aware of your appearance become much more aware but at the same time I think even if I wasn't doing dancing on ice and somebody said to me look we've got this it can make you feel a bit better going out I would I would still definitely do it and I know and it's an embarrassing thing to say to you know for a guy because guys don't want us to be seen to be vain you've gone to the toilet the men's toilets and you see a guy doing there and they suddenly put their hands oh, down yeah. they don't want to be seen to be careful about themselves so it's sort of like yeah, it's a good you know point. it's it's, it's a, sort of a yeah, actually you were going to say that you could demonstrate actually I don't right. you, yeah, you, I'm really see, this isn't the color for you though I'm sorry yes. if you're wondering because I know you're very interested now you, you just get it okay and then you just sort of dab it on like that like that you see now that will cover because obviously I've got hair it will go into the hair and it will cover your these are like fibers yes. here, are they yes they've been using it in TV and movies for dance years <laughs> absolutely you'll be you'll be very surprised who uses it pretty much you know all uh, the people Jeremy use what's it. his name on um, Top Gear uses it all the time yes Clarkson. he does yeah yes and it doesn't sort of run or anything and also there's other sort of, the other thing is even more importantly is it expensive women so it's not that expensive no it's free for me actually well, but 40 percent <laughs> <40 laughs> of women suffer from baldness well that's right, the yeah. thing you see or when you see lots. a woman when they're balding you know you think crumbs they, they you know they look ill there's something wrong yeah and they actually do turn to this and, and obviously they're not too embarrassed about it but guys they won't walk into a chemist and do it they'll go online you know viviscala.ie i'll have 10 boxes and that sort of thing and that's how they do it do they you think really men are becoming more open-minded about stuff they like are i think with wayne rooney coming yeah. out having yes. work done wayne and rooney's made a big difference you know what i mean has, and people yeah. go oh Oh, you know, I want to do something about it. What myself. I want to know is, is how come Austin Healy did it and he looked like a complete pranus and you get away with it? <laughs> well, well, you're very kind. Maybe I get, still get a lot of stick, but I don't mind. I it's, think you uh, could have shaved your head and still look good, to oh, be honest. Oh, you're very kind. Thank you. You're very kind. <laughs> you're, he's right about shaving his head, though, because he could have ended up looking like Matt Dawson. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, I, didn't, <laughs> I didn't want to have that. No, yeah, thank yeah. you. No. Kieran, it's lovely <laughs> it's to be here. Great to see you. you both. Right. We will take a break and we'll see you back here in a few minutes.